All right, greetings anatomy fans. I'm Lissa Mahalik at somaticanatomy.com and I'm here today to show you a great exercise that I used to teach all the time when I worked for the Kane School of Core Integration, taught it to their teachers all the time. Um, it's called three-way breathing and I've added a little somatics flavor to it to really help you get in touch with the way your diaphragm moves, the way your entire torso moves when you breathe, um, to f help you find your breathing muscles. There's so much in this. I don't, I don't even know if I can just ramble on about it. So I'm just gonna get straight to the exercise and probably put more, more of the details in the description. So here's my fabulous YouTube camera skills. So <clears throat> to begin with, you lie down on your back, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, head down, pants staying on, and here we go. Put your hands on your belly and just spend a few breaths noticing how your stomach moves as you breathe. Top of the belly, bottom of the belly. Just, just notice what happens. Spend a little time feeling your body against the ground. and feel the way your belly moves against your hands. If you want, you can take one hand, put it up on your heart, other hand on your belly, and just notice what happens for a few breaths. This is your baseline, just to see what's going on just to bring your attention to it. So now you're gonna take your hands, put them on your belly. I like to put them right below my rib cage and right above my pubic bone. And I'm gonna inhale into my hands, fill my belly with air on the inhale, so thusly. Now as I exhale, I'm gonna keep my stomach full of air and exhale somewhere else. I'm gonna inhale even more into my belly. Exhale somewhere else, finding new and exciting muscles. One more time, inhale even more into my belly. And exhale somewhere else. And inhale, release. And exhale, release. Now I'm just gonna take a couple of breaths here, noticing what's different. If anything. Now, side note, when you're doing breath work, it really helps to do slow breaths. If you do a lot of short, quick breaths in short succession, you could end up starting to feel lightheaded. Your fingers and toes could start feeling tingly. It's all totally normal and it'll go back to normal as soon as you stop breathing short and quick. So, not if there's anything wrong with that, just letting you know it feels a little weird and scary if you're not used to it. Next, you're gonna stay lying down, put your hands on the sides of your ribs. I'm gonna sit up and show you what that looks like from the front. So, hands here on the sides of the ribs. And just feeling the bones, so really find your bones with your fingers. Feel how your rib cage surrounds your heart and your lungs. How your rib cage protects your heart and your lungs. And you've got that. Then, still lying on the ground, thusly, you're going to inhale out to the side so that your ribs swing out. And you're gonna leave your ribs pressed into your sides. You're still lying down, I'm just showing you what it looks like because you don't really see much when I'm lying sideways. So you're gonna inhale, Widen the ribs and exhale somewhere else. My rib cage is pressing out into my hands. I'm gonna inhale even wider. Keeping my rib cage pressed out wide into my hands, I'm gonna exhale somewhere else as much as I can without letting my ribs come in. One more time. Inhale super wide, 
Exhale, somewhere else. Try and let my shoulders relax, but keeping my ribs pressed out. I'm out of air. Inhale, relax, and exhale, relax. And you're still lying down. Just feeling the ribs going side to side and see if anything's changed. You might notice one side moves more than the other. That's totally normal. You might notice both sides move evenly. That's also normal. Either way is totally cool. Now you're going to bring your hands around to the back. And again, I'm going to sit up to show you where that is. Feel down to the base of your rib cage. And find this big area down here. The base of your rib cage is where the most lung tissue and the most of your diaphragmatic muscle lives, right down there. You can have your palms down there if that's not comfortable for your shoulders. You can have the backs of your hands down there, or if that's totally not comfortable, you can just poke that with your fingers and feel it against the ground. I like to have my hands down there since my shoulders can still handle it for the moment. So I'm going to have my hands back here and I am going to breathe, contact my ribs, feel those bones under my fingers, and notice the movement back there. So now, once again, I'm going to breathe back into the base of my lungs. I'm going to fill my hands with air back here. And I'm going to exhale somewhere else. This is the trick that starts getting your abs kicked in. I'm going to inhale back into the base of my rib cage even more. Fill the bottoms of the lungs. Stretch out the diaphragm in back. Exhale somewhere else, trying to hold those rib cages, that part of the rib cage really large as I do. And one more time, I'm gonna inhale back. And I'm gonna exhale somewhere else. I'm really feeling my abs kick in right now, which is kind of nice. When you need to work your core, this is how you do it. And I'm gonna inhale, release. And exhale, release. I'm gonna bring my hands back to my belly, upper belly, lower belly. And notice if anything's different from when I started. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, if you started out with that. Just one more breath. And that is a three-way breathing exercise that with any luck will help you to organize your breathing, get in touch with everything between your shoulder joints and your hip joints, loosen things up, and start getting in touch with the movement of your diaphragm. In fact, I'm gonna give you a little bonus right here. make a little arch here. This is more or less the shape of your diaphragm. As you inhale, it goes down. As you exhale, it goes up. So as you inhale and fill your belly with air, that diaphragm moves down. As you exhale, let your belly come in. Your diaphragm moves up. Now think about all the different ways that you've just breathed and held your diaphragm in place and use different muscles. Contemplate on the wonders of the diaphragm and enjoy your anatomy.